Hello everybody and welcome back to a second episode of Re-Entry, a space simulation game. Uh, what can we do on here? What can we do with the... What historic missions do we have? We have none as of yet. Uh, the developer has said that they are bringing new stuff to this. What's on early access? What's this? Hmm, I haven't actually run the Apollo spacecraft yet. So, I'll tell you what, let's go... What's the campaign? What's that? Okay. So, the space race has started. The Soviet Union has beaten the US on almost every front by putting the first man in space and in orbit. Project Mercury followed tightly and successfully after putting an American in space. NASA is working hard on their next space program, Project Gemini. The year is 1962. NASA has just announced that they are accepting new astronaut applications for Project Gemini, and you decide to give it a go. And the application was accepted, and after a long period of intense training, things are starting to get real, and the reach for space is getting closer. Ooh. Okay, so the Gemini capsule is a brand new spaceship with room for two astronauts, the commander and the pilot. It's designed to be piloted much like a jet fighter and has the ability to manoeuvre in orbit. The cockpit has seven panels with controls and has an onboard computer, the OBC, which is used to aid the crew in flight. So, <clears throat> after a long and intense training period, you are ready to step out of the simulator and enter a real Gemini cockpit for the first time. You have been assigned your first Gemini mission as a pilot with Commander Patrick. The Gemini spacecraft is standing ready for launch with rehearsal and tests. And attached to the Titan II launch vehicle designed to make the spaceship from the launch pad into orbit. Okay, so after the launch rehearsal was completed, the rocket has been prepared for launch. You will join Commander Patrick on the first Gemini mission that will take the spacecraft into orbit. Let's have a go at this, shall we? Let's see what we can do. Okay, we are preparing. Right, here we go. And, oh, look, I'm on my bell. Okay, let's turn that. Right, let's turn it up to that. Okay, so let's prepare the cockpit for launch. So as you can see, as prepared, uh, compared to, should I say, to the, um, the Mercury cockpit, it's obviously drastically different. Okay, so as you can see, we've obviously got much more controls here. Music's a bit more retro as well. Uh, so, what else do we have here? We have a lot here. Oh, we can toggle the hatch open. Might do that a little bit later on for a surprise and see what happens. Okay, so. Uh, I need to go to the launch preparation checklist, set the switches on my side, and those on your side will guide us through some follow my lead. Roger that. Okay, yes, I know. So, we the briefing to check out the launch details. Okay, so that's that. That's the briefing. Uh, launch into orbit for firing out of engines if we take back to where they splash down in the Atlantic. That shouldn't be that long, then, should it, by the looks of things? Um, Okay, wow, that's a lot of points there. Okay, let's do the pre-flight checks. So, where am I clicking first of all? Good lord. Okay, so... Two, three, four, five, six, seven... Detail on the panels is much better as well. Okay. Why isn't that doing anything? Uh, let's have a look at the. There we go. Oh. Okay, what else we gotta click? What's that? Okay. Let's scramble about the looks of it. Right. Do we need to get the primers going? Yes we do. Where are the primer pumps? Are they there they are. Two, three, four, five. Six. Where's the computer mode? Okay, time to retro has been updated to one hour 
31 minutes, that's a long time. Please double check, call 19 to make adjustments if needed. Okay. Just done pre launch. I've just done my pre front checklist. I'm pretty sure I have, haven't I? Yes, I have. Main battery to one, or is it? Is that the one that he's doing? Okay, yeah, he's doing it, yeah. Are they the ones I've just done turned on? Okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, yep, we are done with that. So we are ready to launch. We are going for launch indeed. Okay, so let's speed up time a bit. Yes, I get you. Yeah. Going to say stop interrupting me. Now we can speed up time. There we are, 100 times faster. Because I hate waiting. Roger that. Let's have a quick look outside. And look at the size difference. It's an absolute beast of a machine. And I can't wait for this thing to launch. Absolutely beautiful it is. Okay, let's get back in the commander's seat, shall we? Press five. Yeah, we're only going with 30 seconds to launch. Less than that now, 15. Won't be long now. Come on, 10. It hasn't thrown me back in the cabin yet, it will soon. Absolutely beautiful. Yep, there we go, we're thrown back in. Mark, 50 seconds, you're looking good, eight. Good. Okay, let's quick do a quick radio check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what's next on the mission pad? Yet. Ooh, we in space. Yes, we are. Let's have an external view, shall we? That's a bit better look at that. Absolutely stunning. Taking off from Florida once again. Seems ever so slow, doesn't it? And I wonder what our actual speed is. Let's have a look. Fuel, good. Gimbal is online. I can't see the speed jiggling just a bit too much. But it's on this panel, isn't it? There we go. We are B 
boost to separation. Those are falling away quite quick. Okay, let's get back to that panel. Batteries look good. Code is fine. Computers are good. We all good up here. Yes, I think we are. Very pretty. Look at that. Isn't it just? Gotta be close to orbit point soon. Absolutely beautiful. Soundtrack. I, the soundtrack is quite nice. I, I am enjoying this quite a lot. Push button separate us from the launch vehicle. Okay. Where is it? There it is. And look at that. Separation complete, and there go the flying, the exploding bolts. We remove the fairings with the button, the bolts will cover our scanners, radar, and sensors. Let's have a quick look behind. Slowly falling back down to earth. Okay, let's get back to it. So it's this one. Okay, note that the red scanner light on the central pedestal. If this is on the scanner, not able to track earth. This is normal for 120 seconds after jettisoning the fairings. Didn't perform any automated maneuvers. If this is on. OM system. Okay, let's have a look at the OM system checklist. Where is it? Enable it Where's the switch? Be interesting. So, hmm, I'm not sure. 
That's really a necessary feature. I mean, obviously they had to do it. Stuff stuck here. Oh no, okay. Orbit insertion checklist. Okay, let's go for that one. Okay, let's run this one. Where are we? Anything up here? Oh, that's my side now. Roger that. Speed up the time a bit here because I'm getting hungry. Rate command flight modes join all. Okay, what? Rate command mode checklist. Okay, so with that we can set the flight mode to manual rate command. In this mode you can use W, S, A and D to yaw and Q we need to roll. Okay, let's do this from an external view, shall we? Yeah, it's not too bad, it just paper cheer about a bit. Gimbals all still line up, so that is perfectly fine. Let's get some more time ahead, shall we? And now our island's tech has you in range. Okay, in fact, let's check out the map. There we are. There's our flight path. That's reach the African coast of Madagascar. Okay. God, that's fast. And here we go. And even the gold is still glinting, but no more. It's too dark. Roger that. Oh, we've done! That's a surprise. Well, I thought the mission would have been longer. Alright, okay. Well, that is it for the second video of 
re-entry the Orbital Simulator game. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from the Only Way is Beastly. And of course, help us get to a thousand subscribers. So hopefully we will be back shortly with another video. Take care guys.